I'm finally back at the plot and it is bitterly cold here today and that got me on to thinking about this. Now this is a box that came to me in December of last year and I've only just sort of remembered about it but it was sent to me after a company saw me building this area which was the well-being garden. So they've said to me well look do you want a space heater which will allow you to enjoy that area a lot more and i said yeah great send me it so today i'm going to build this space heater and hopefully it'll give me a little bit of heat so that i can keep warm up here while i'm working so um i'd stick around as well guys because i contacted this company and told them that i was going to make this video and they've just given me a 50 percent discount for you guys off this and i'll give you the code for that later <laughs> So this is a patio heater from Terra Hiker. Now, um, it's come direct from Amazon and I've got to say guys, they are heavy. This box is quite heavy. Um, I did manage it on my own, but um, if, uh, if you're not strong or anything like that, then consider getting someone to help you with it when you're setting up. But um, we're going to open it together. We're going to have a look what's in here. I don't know what it's like. I don't know how good it is. And we're going to find that out together. Well, that's what we see here, guys. It's uh, all packaged up. So I've just got to unpackage it. Well, first off, I quite like that there's hardly any packaging here. There's enough to secure the product, but the cardboard's be reusable, and we've got a couple of small polystyrene blocks to get rid of. So for me, they get an A on that, guys. So I'm just going to get everything unpacked here, we'll start putting it together, then we will hopefully get it set up and see how it goes. I don't know if you can make this out, but the instructions are quite straightforward. Um, telling you all your parts list and it's a step by step guide, so pretty good. Okay.
well that's it it's lit it's all together now that regulator there is the one that came with the machine but it didn't fit the gas bottle I have now it may be that that would fit your gas bottle it just so happened that I had a gas bottle for my camping stove here and it didn't fit so that was what I was going to use so um, so I just brought the regulator from that on instead but as you can see it's already heating up quite nicely in fact I can feel that heat down here already so um, that's going to be quite nice I think do you know what I can already the, the heat that's coming off here is quite a lot actually I'm going to have to watch these plants with it so I'll probably move it and I'll go through some of the features of this you may have seen me putting on some brackets along the bottom and I'll get some close-ups of these but those brackets hold these little pins now these little pins are there to anchor this to the floor so it can't blow over and I think that's quite a nice little feature the other thing you could probably do is if you knew that you were going to keep it in a specific place you could probably just bore a small hole and put a roll plug in it and screw it down and that way um, those anchors can't sort of get loose either all in all it was really easy to put together I can really feel that heat coming now it was really easy to put together however this top plate here took a little bit of jiggling around just to get the holes to line up but once I lined them up everything went together fine and the other thing lifting these you have to put these middle legs onto the top before putting them on the bottom and lifting that all over and feeding the hose is hard for one person you saw me struggling a little bit with it so what I would suggest is you build it all by yourself but have someone just to help you when you're lifting the unit on top and that will make life much easier I tell you something there's a huge amount of heat coming out of this and what I like is it's got a variable variable fire there so you can have it up or down um, and it was really quick pulling the gas through as well a couple of times and it's quite a neat little unit so back to the company and they have given up to a 50% discount for you guys so it's really worth uh, having it knocks the price of this down to about a hundred pounds um, UK money I'm not sure what it would be in dollars and if they're available um, via their website it's on Amazon I'll put links in the description below along with the discount code that you will need um, a checkout so you make sure you put that in now this offer is valid until the 7th of February at 12 p.m. so make sure that you get across and purchase one of these before then and I gotta say for this it's gonna be perfect it's gonna you know on those cooler nights like today when I just need to come now and have a little warm and I can turn it on get one of the chairs in the back here, sit underneath there have a cup of tea which I've got by here already because it's well deserved I can tell you and um, and, and that will go really well here and like I said most of it was put together you'll just have to put a few brackets on it um, connect up the gas bottle and if you can use a wrench you're all right what I will say um, came with one of these guys it's useless and if the company does view this I would suggest uh, just letting know and the reason why it's useless it might be better if it was bent and angled but you can't get to some of the bolts and do them up underneath the bottom plate where the wheels and those brackets need to go and that's really all you need this for so that's not worth the metal it was cut out of but I had a little tiny socket set here and I was able to do that and literally all you need is a 10 mil socket a 6 mil socket and a little screwdriver and you can put that together it's really really easy and I didn't even use a screwdriver but it would make it easier than uh, than just always using the, the socket but a 6 and 10 mil socket is really all you'd need um, so 
get yourself down to the description below guys that's where all the codes are and the link to amazon where you can purchase these but i tell you something it's huge amounts of heat coming off this i can feel it just standing here so i'm pretty chuffed with that obviously it's not on a perfectly flat floor at the moment but um i'm really pleased with it it's uh, certainly going to give me somewhere to warm up when i'm up here working and uh, i can just pull it out and use it there's a great little feature on this that has some wheels on the back so you can just tilt it and wheel it around to whatever you want let it cool down first though that's all i'll say um but other than that i mean they're pretty basic but uh it's doing the job it's chucking out the heat and i think it'll make a great addition to this well-being garden especially in you know the late spring and early summers when the nights can still be that little bit cooler um and when we get lighting out here it's going to mean that i can be up here even later because i'm going to worry about going home because i'm too cold so um thank you very much for this it's absolutely perfect um like i said other than a couple of little bits you know like this span is useless and um it took a little while to line up that silver plate um other than that it went together really really straightforward anyway guys if you've found value in this video don't forget to click the subscribe button here and if you want to start looking at what we need to be doing at this time of year then this is the next video that you should watch i'm tony o'neill this is simplified gardening and remember folks you reap what you sow i'll see you in the next one bye bye